second poem, also from this same book, uh, which in Portuguese is called A Criança em Ruinas, uh, a title that can roughly be translated by The Child in Ruins. And this poem um, is called, uh, I'm sorry, this poem is called Ars Poetica. The poem has nothing more than the sound of its sense. The letter P is not the first letter of the word poem. The poem is sculpted from the senses, and this is its form. You don't read poem as poem. You read it as bread or flour. Read it as fresh grass in your lips. You read smiles stretched over a thousand trees or sky of knives, threat. You read fear and looking for the blind. You read the child's hand for you, mother, who's sleeping and assured that I was born of you to be words which are not written. You read it country and sea and forgotten sky and memory. You read it silence, yes. Over and over, poem reads silence, place where nothing is said and it means. Silence of your gaze of a sweet girl, silence of Sunday between conversations, Silence after a kiss or of a disproportionate flower. Your silence, Father, who died in everything, only to exist in this poem close-mouthed, who can deny it, that you write always, always, in secret, inside me and inside all those who suffer for you. The poem is not this pen with its black ink. It's not this voice. The letter P is not the first letter of the word poem. The poem is when I could sleep late during the summer holidays and the sun came in through the window. The poem is here, where I was happy and where I died so utterly. The poem is when I didn't know the word poem, when I didn't know the letter P and ate toasts made over the flame in the kitchen in the backyard. The poem is here, when I lift my eyes off the page and let my hands touch you, when I know without rhyming and without metaphors that I love you. The poem will be, re will be when the children and the, and the birds revolt, and until then it will be always and everything. The poem knows. The poem knows itself, and it never says to itself, I'm a poem. It never writes itself with P. The poem inside itself, its perfume and its smoke. It's a small boy that runs to a, a orchard to hug his father. It's the exhaustion and the freedom we feel. It's everything I want to learn if that which I want to learn is everything. It is your gaze and what I imagine about it. It is the, it is the solitude and regret. It's not libraries burning with scanned lines because that isn't libraries burning with scanned lines and it's not the poem. It's not the root of a word that we imagine we know because we can only know what we have and we have nothing. It's not a plot of earth singing hymns and raising walls between the lines of the world. The poem is not the word poem because the word poem is a word. The poem is salted flesh within. It's a gaze lost in the night along the rooftops at the hour when everyone's asleep. It's the last, the last memory of a drowning man. It's a nightmare, grief, hope. The poem doesn't have stanzas, it has a body. The poem doesn't have lines, it has blood. The poem is not written with letters, it's written with grains of sand and kisses, pebbles and moments, shouts and uncertainties. The letter P is not the first letter of the word poem. The word poem exists for not being written, as I exist for not being written, for not being understood, not even by myself, even though my meaning is everywhere I am. The poem is me, my hands, in your hair. The poem is my face that I don't see and that exists because you look at me. The poem is your face and I, I don't know how to write the word poem. I, I only know how to write what it means.